risk premium. This is the compensation an individual would require to bear risk without suffering a loss in expected utility. When the expected values are the same, how much would I pay to have a non-gamble over the gamble? If you're, say, risk averse in this situation. The maximum amount that you would pay if the expected values are the same to have the non-gamble over the gamble would be your risk premium. To find the risk premium, we will need the difference between the expected value and the certainty equivalent. The risk premium must be positive if we're risk averse, though you can calculate the risk premium for those who are risk seeking, but in that case, the risk premium would just be negative. So let's look at the four step process to calculating the risk premium. Imagine that you are given a gamble. So in this case, we're going to say you have a 50% chance at 100 and a 50% chance at zero. And you're given a utility function, in this case, the square root of x. What you do for your four step process for the risk premium calculation is first you find the expected value of the gamble. So in this case, what we do is we just simply multiply. 0.5 times 100 and 0.5 times 0, and our expected value is 50. Now what you do at step two is you find the expected utility of the gamble. And so what we have to do for the expected utility is take each payoff and multiply it in, right, to the probability, so take zero into 50, with the utility function right, given the utility function. So what we have is we plug that 100 into the utility function, zero into that utility function, and then multiply it by those probabilities, right? So just like what we were doing before to find the expected utility, and in this case, the expected utility is five. Step three for figuring out the risk premium is you need to find the certainty equivalent. So now we take that expected utility from the gamble of five equal to one, with certainty times an unknown amount x within the utility function that we're given x to the one half power. And we do the math and we figure out the certainty equivalent in this case is 25. Well, what you can see so far is in this calculation of a risk premium, we have had to do everything that we've done up to this point in this lecture. We've calculated the expected value, we've calculated the expected utility, we've calculated the certainty equivalent. The last and final step for calculating the risk premium is, at step four, you take the expected value and you subtract from it the certainty equivalent. So in this case, the expected value was 50 and the certainty equivalent that we received was 25. And so our risk premium is going to be 50 minus 25, or in this case, it will be 25.